Um Mu'minin Safiya bint Hayy radiyallahu ta'ala anha. She was the daughter of one of the leaders of the Jewish tribe, Hayy ibn Akhtar. And when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam married her, <clears throat> now she was the daughter of one of the great leaders of her own people. She's marrying now the great leader of the Ummah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What would she expect from that? In that culture, maybe when you now become victorious over a nation and you take your, their, their daughters, their spouse, their children and so on, you might think that you're going to be enslaved. But this woman, she saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam marrying her, freeing her and marrying her, which means elevating her status. And now the way he treated her sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, she was so surprised that she said, مَا رَأَيْتُ أَحْسَنَ خُلُقًا مِنْ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وسلم. I've never seen anyone more behaved in terms of akhlaq and character than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One of the ways he, he treated her that maybe impressed her so much that when she used, when she wanted to mount, go on the camel, to ride on the camel, he went down sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He himself, he kneeled all the way down placing one knee up for her and then allowing her to use this as a step so she stepped on his knee so she could go on the camel and while she was doing that he was covering her with his with his thobe so that when she raises one foot the other would not be revealed and you could see that and remember and imagine that is subhanallah beautiful akhlaq it's just like a modern techniques people today use when you open the door for your wife and you hold the door for her and just be courteous, be gentle and being kind and nice. She saw that and living with him, she knew how well behaved his akhlaq salawatullahi wa salam is so high. Ma ra'aytu ahsana khuluqan. Never, I've seen never anyone like this than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.